Good morning, everybody. Relic right here. It's actually, I don't have a watch. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Got uh, Uncle Marty digging with us. He way back there. Got a new digging buddy, Justin, digging with us. Um, somewhere. We're in my truck, and then Justin followed us. Uh, we're going to have to come up with a nickname for Justin because we already have a Justin. But anyway, um, there's some tractor parts lost in this field. Um, there's two old home sites on this 200 acres, but they're not right here. Rumor is there might be another old home site right in there. So I'm going to go in there and look. Uh, still looking for it's a, it's a big nut off of a plow and a, a bracket off a plow. Anyway, I'm going to look for that. Uh, and we're going to look for an old home site. And if we don't find something here in about an hour, be it tractor parts or uh uh, home site stuff we're going to go to the other side of the property where we know there's some good stuff so one way or another we'll find something Plow what fire poker fire poker right oh this yes i bet that's what that is very cool all right so maybe there was a old home site out there there was some big old cedar tree all right we're gonna go where we can find something good and uh, we're gonna put this in a bucket and get back with y'all shortly all right, everybody, really right here. We're at the uh, second site. There was a house right there, we think. There's old foundation, barn foundations in the woods, but we think we can detect right here where they just plowed up for a food plot, and I uh, think we can find some good stuff to put on the tailgate. See what we can find. Started at 1657. Uh, I'm gonna count holes over here. First hole here was a little trigger guard off a toy gun. I believe that's what that is. So yeah, uh, got high hopes for this spot. Little toy gun part, first first hole uh, at the new site. All right, everybody. Justin said he found something cool. Oh, look at that little piece of glass. Oh. Right. Little piece of glass. Oh, cool. I don't know if that's that old of an iron. The solid yeah. ones are older. Yeah, I think at the other home site here, I found something very similar. Very hmm. cool, man. Need to find a handle now. You put it yeah, back. I know. <laughs> yeah, put it back to use. All right, everybody. On my third hole of the day, I do not have to. Uh, <clears throat> do not need a pinpointer. Cool old axe. There's where the handle went. It's kind of squished. Got it, still got a good head on it though. We're gonna make us an iron pile. So I got a feeling we're gonna have a tailgate full here in a little while. Come go with us. This was the third hole of the day, or third hole since I got out of the truck. All right, everybody. Uncle Marty's right up there. Truck's right up there. Sixth hole of the day. I started on 1657. I'm on 1663. What do you think, Justin? I don't know just yet. I'm hearing something, but I'm trying to dis discriminate through all this iron. What do you think I got? Is that a button? Looks like a button. If it's a pocket watch, it's a tiny one. Yeah. Anyway, I'll clean that up a little bit and get back with y'all. It's definitely a piece of brass that I thought was a penny. Rang up like a penny. So it's about a little over, probably half dollar size, I think watch piece. I think watch piece, but it won't clean up. Anyway, I don't know if I have a brush with me. If I do, I'll clean it up and get back with y'all. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm on my seventh hole of the day. I see it. I can't. Justin came over here to swing over it, and we couldn't decide what it was. We thought it was a dime signal. It is a drawer pull. Yeah. Co copper or brass drawer pull. Anyway, when you was a big old loud 45, 46 signal on the legend. Hey, that might be what I uh, might be what I have in my pouch that I was thinking was a pocket watch. It might oh, be yeah. the face yeah. off of one of those. So, yep. All right. Let's see what else we can find. All right, everybody. Got a big old brass signal something i think i see it right there oh nope <laughs> there it is maybe all right what is that round it's round and it's got some fancy on it we all think that is i do not know glasses are so full of sweat that i can't tell oh cool don't know definitely a good signal it said i'm a big old penny dig me and I dig, and I digged him, and now I don't know what he is. Almost like a, uh, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, everybody, pull my uh, truck down to the iron pile, put it on the tailgate. Something loose right here. More iron, more iron, more iron. 
old mule harness stuff right there. That's old though. Old mule, mule harness. I heard about it hold 23 on the day. Legend says I flipped it out of the hole. More old horse tack. More old horse tack, y'all. Look, anywhere you put your... <laughs> Lay, laid my pin pointer down on that, y'all. Any, anywhere you put your pin pointer, there's stuff. Stuff in the ground, everywhere. Everywhere. Not gonna dig it all, though. Only gonna dig the high tones. Wait, there's something else. Oh, there's a shoe. Pin pointer's on something else. Be quiet, pin pointer. All right, that's enough of that. I know y'all tired of that. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, there's a square nail. <laughs> All right, cleaning up the world. All right, everybody, I've dug 23 holes on the day. Got a old home place right there in the woods. Uh, we've been here before, but we stayed mostly in the woods because all this was knee-high grass. There was an old well right here in these trees. So we're going to go back and forth from those trees to, that's the chimney, that pile of, I don't know what that right there is. That's not, that might be part of the house, but I know for sure that little pile right, trying to see where I'm pointing, that little pile right there is a chimney. So we may get around it, but mostly we're going to stay out here in the field. Uh, actually, I see some bricks. See those bricks right over there? Bring them in. Yep, see the bricks right there? Brick, brick, brick. So yeah, get out here and see what we can find. All right, everybody, you can see some of the old foundation right there. We're parked right down there. Uh, hole 24 on the day for me. Might be old buggy step. The well was right there in those trees in front of Uncle, Uncle Marty. What'd you dig, Marty? You didn't dig a buggy step. I dug a buggy step. He dug a buckle. Let's see what you got. Iron. Yeah. Cool old iron buckle. Probably horse tack. Never know. That's a good one. You might oil that up a little bit and keep using it. Cool old fine. All right, everybody. Oh, 26 on the day. Sounded like iron. Definitely iron. Big iron. Well, that's cool. Ah, that's very cool, and I don't know what it is. Oh, that might be a crank. Might be a crank out of an old motor. That, was that where the piston went around? I got no idea. Can y'all see that? If the shot of wasn't in the way. Anyway, any ideas? I don't know. Reliving history. Another old chunk of iron at a time. All right, everybody, hold 1687, which is 30 on the day. It's had a little low tone buttony signal, so <clears throat> I almost said there's not as much stuff in the ground here, but as you can see, as soon as I set my pinpointer down, it found something. Well, that right there is very cool, y'all. I have no idea what that is, but it's very cool. I'm gonna move y'all upstairs like George Jefferson so y'all can see better. And I'm going to get right here in front of y'all, straighten the camera up, and say, what the heck is that? It's brass. I don't know what that is. Some sort of pocket knife, I guess, but if so, it was a fancy one. How cool is that? Is that the blades in there? She would like for those to come out. I don't know what that is. I think that's not a pocket knife. I think that's something more specific. Anyway, we'll clean that up at the truck, and we can get y'all an answer we will. Recovering artifacts together. All right, everybody, hold 33 on the day for me. Really good signal. Best signal I've had at this new site. That's because it's a little round coin. <laughs> or a flat button. Coin or a button. All right. Can't tell. Something cool, though. Something cool and round. Let me move y'all up to the George Jefferson floor. We'll look at it together. Feels nickelish or buttonous. Ah, you know what? I think that might be a tomback button. Shiny, shiny like one. 
How about my shiny tomback button? That'd be old, y'all. It might be 200 years old. That's fine so far at this new spot. We're at the third side of the day, by the way. I don't know if I told y'all that. So I think it's got a back mark. We'll get that off later too. So reliving history, one old 200 year old button at a time. All right, hole 37. Marty and Justin still looking for something. I flipped something cool out of the hole here. Good tone anyway. How about them apples? Be quiet, pinpointer. Old old spoon handle. Getting dark, y'all. We're going to head out of here shortly. Cool old spoon handle rang up like a penny. I knew that was some sort of cool brass. Legend doesn't lie on those. Can I straighten it out, Justin? Not this Justin. Other Justin. He gets mad when I straighten stuff. There you go. Cool little spoon handle. Reliving history. One old eating utensil at a time. All right, everybody. Hole 40 on the day for me. I started at 1657. I'm at 1697. Had a little nickel tone to it till I flipped it over, and then it wasn't as good as a nickel. So now I don't know where it's at. Checked it after I flipped it out. I don't know what that is, y'all. That is a oh cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ah ha 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 ha. Teeny tiny little flat button, y'all. How cool is that? That's why it rang up a that's why it rang up a 25, 26 on the legend. Teeny tiny little flat button. What a great way to end of the day. I just called last signal. Hole 40 on the day. Still got a shank on the back. Be cool if it's got something on there. Too close to 200-year-old button. Two on the day. We'll get back with y'all. All right, everybody. Got a uh, new digging friend, Justin, here digging. And Uncle Marty. And we found some stuff. I'm going to run through it right quick, as fast as I can. Because there's a lot. Spoon, uh, stove top handle trigger from a toy gun maybe buckle bed part uh old flat button with some writing on the back we'll have that by the time we get to the video a little teeny tiny flat button that was my 40th and last hole of the day a little teeny tiny flat button maybe a watch or pocket watch uh some sort of pedal or buggy step it says pabby on there i think i don't know pabby something anyway marty found all the range guides together <laughs> Two of them are damaged and one of them is beautiful. I have found a couple just like that, but I had never found uh, a range guide spill. Uh, some of the big iron, a cotton scale weight. Uh, what am I missing, y'all? Some cool old glass. Uh, that's my brush. I didn't find that. Let me throw that over there. Uh, axe head. Some single tree stuff. Uh, some decorative, maybe drawer escutcheons. Another drawer pull. Those things ring up great. Uh, I don't know what that is Marty's got. Some sort of points off of uh, something, something. To show off your knife. Oh, yeah. I missed my knife. I think an uh, entirely brass knife, y'all. Could have had more to it, but uh, trying to look over the camera. Still got the blade in it right there. There's the blade with pivot right there. So, yeah, I'll clean that up and uh, might straighten that up if it's the original. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Uh, yeah, cool stuff. Reliving history, one tailgate full at a time.